He was mad at me for taking the job with James Franco. There were some issues that I had to deal with that were also related to addiction. After some brutal, tenacious battles with Johnny Depp, Amber Heard traps in another twisted war. And this time, it's with her once so-called close friend, or more precisely, ex-boyfriend James Franco. Celebrity friendships are nothing unusual in Hollywood, but Heard's friendship with Franco only became public after she admitted to confiding in Franco about her problems with her ex-husband Johnny Depp. It seems like she can still not vanish from the sight of humiliation. And this time, the humiliation is on another level, because her ex-boyfriend James Franco divulged that having an affair with this evil woman made him lose a $12 million role. For me, I, I think with my life, I think it's the most precious thing I can have is privacy. And, 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 and so I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any yeah. <laughs> reason or desire to. We all know that James Franco, at one point in time, appeared as though he was everywhere and did everything, from hosting the Oscars to getting awards. Due to his rising fame, he got a famous role, Harry Osborn, in the Spider-Man franchise. And undoubtedly, this role got the requirement limelight because whenever the Spider-Man series came, the fans deliberately waited for Harry Osborn to come on screen. I don't get it. I mean, where do you go all the time? Hey, Pete, you're probably looking for a, a job now, right? But then, the fans of Spider-Man No Way Home got shocked when they saw the trailer and did not find James Franco, aka Harry Osborn. It was a direct clue that he did lose that role due to his past sexual misconduct and his troubled past. The production may have avoided Franco in the mix due to all the ongoing fuss. But how did this all leak in public? Who was behind it? You must be aware of the most famous celebrity legal case, which was between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, right? The lawsuit got famous because it had Hollywood's top class celebrities involved in it. Suspected that Amber was having an affair with James Franco, correct? Yeah, yes. So during one of the hearings of this case, Johnny Depp claimed that his ex-wife Amber Heard was having an affair with James Franco before the divorce. When Depp was put on the spot during the defamation trial and asked if he'd ever suspected his wife of having an affair, he quickly replied, yes. So after this, Heard disagreed that she had an affair with James Franco, and she twisted her words by saying that she was more comfortable around James because he was her close friend. But the video in court disclosed something else. Did you see what kind of friendship they're sharing? When the video surfaced on the internet, people went crazy over this video. One person commented, Amber is such a liar. Her decision to be mean to Johnny, despite his kindness to her, says volumes about her nasty behavior. After this case, Johnny could sue those newspapers again. Amber accepted that she had an affair with James just because of embarrassment. And you'll be shocked to hear that she also used to sleep with James and shared the same penthouse, which was once shared with Depp. Well, this is all confirmed by Amber herself. And you're taking him up to the penthouses, aren't you? That's where I lived, yes. So despite being married to Johnny Depp, she shared her love with James. During their affair, Amber noticed the weird behavior of James. His blatantly going to parties was something that was bizarre to Amber. Lucy recorded a video of Franco, in which we could hear Franco asking Lucy to tag him in her post. You gotta tag me. <laughs> After two years of their relationship, Amber couldn't bear this bizarre behavior anymore and revealed to the public herself that James has been addicted to sex with minor girls. Five women have accused Franco of inappropriate or exploitative behavior. Now, you must be shocked to hear that it was Amber Heard who revealed a dark and dirty secret about him. Not only that, Amber also claimed that James was never interested in her. He was always crazily attracted to young girls and had sex with them, and most of those girls were his own students. He went so overboard that he used to make girls naked and make them dance in front of him. It was a lot of nudity and sex scenes that felt that they weren't that I felt were not artistically justified. But Amber didn't want to go through this, and that's why she revealed his unbelievable antics to the public. When she exposed him, the victims who were the subject of James' lust also came forward, and they also told the same stories about his shady character themselves. When he has his other side, it's the complete polar opposite. 
Well, the first complaint was made when a girl who was 17 years old at the time released screenshots of chats between herself and Franco, in which he tried to convince her to visit his hotel room. But almost immediately, Franco denied the allegations. That's when Tither Kaplan appeared. She was one of the five women who accused Franco of behavior that they deemed to be inappropriate or sexually exploitative. Franco was charged with both of these things. Four of them were enrolled in his classes, and one more said that he served as their guide. According to their claims, they believe Franco could bring them job development in some instances. And as a result, they acquiesced to his desires even when they were uncomfortable doing so. Tyler claimed, I felt like there was an abuse of power, and there was a culture of exploiting non-celebrity women, and a culture of women being replaceable. She further stated that during a filthy scene that she filmed with Franco and several other women three years ago, he removed protective plastic guards that were covering other actresses' private parts. She said that this occurred while they were filming the scene. She agreed to appear she nude in Franco's low-budget movie, but was taken aback when she was asked to appear in a bonus scene something, involving something an orgy. Insane. Two additional student actresses also related unfavorable situations that they had while working on the site. Both of them stated that Franco became irate when no women who were present at the shoot agreed to remove their tops. And due to this, James came on target of the people. He was highly trolled on social media and largely criticized by the public. Even his fans were disappointed in him. One fan expressed, As much as I love him in every movie, it's extremely disappointing he took advantage of a situation in fame. It sounds like he basically said, if you don't let me exploit you sexually, you'll never make it. That's so sad to hear. I always thought he was a great guy. Well, he deserved this. But after giving these charges some thought, James decided to finally discuss the whole thing and provide his perspective on how he feels they should be interpreted. And also, he was weirdly obsessed with having sex with his students. To which James said, So it wasn't a master plan on my part, but yes, there were certain instances where, you know what? I was in a consensual thing with a student and I shouldn't have been. I suppose at the time, my thinking was if it was consensual, okay. At the time, I was not clear-headed. Well, it seems that James does have some sense of guilt, but that does not change the dynamics of his character. According to Franco, roles may have been accessible to female students only if they were willing to engage in sexual activities or when they were naked. Even more distressing are the allegations that he would simulate sex acts on students while the necessary guards were present in the room. I did sleep with students. And the thing that matters here is that this was also the time when he was already offered the role in Spider-Man No Way Home. But due to his involvement in obscene activities and sexual misconduct with the students, he was cancelled by Disney. It's obvious that his movie career was ruined. He lost the mega $12 million role in the movie due to these allegations. At that moment, um, I just thought, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be, I'm going to pause. But he threw all the dirt on Amber and accused her of losing his role. And he also disclosed awful truths about Amber and her past relationships. Well, we've all been aware that Amber Heard was known for her weird tastes in sex in the past. But Franco confirmed it by revealing that during the relationship, she still used to visit her ex-boyfriend Elon Musk as they never broke up. Amber went to several parties that Musk hosted. He also revealed that Amber frequently visited for wild nights of drinking, sexual activity, and excessive MDMA use. But before James' revelation, a woman from the party said, A bunch of hot young girls rubbing all over each other in satanic-styled leather outfits on stage. Amber on a throne-like chair at the center, legs spread, with like perfect star on display, performing sex acts for a room full of men watching below. Since 2011, when the tech tycoon and his then-wife were allegedly hosting soirees at their Beverly Hills house, Heard had been linked to Elon Musk and the events in question. He seemed like a, a like a real gentleman, he was really nice. And he sat next to me, well not next to me, he sat kind of in a nearby table. Heard quickly became a darling among the group because she had a knack for reeling in other young struggling actresses. This is one of the reasons why Heard got popular so quickly. It's been rumored that Heard's ex-girlfriend, supermodel Cara Delevingne, was an early attendee at these gatherings. Fuck. So it's done. They are kissing back. They are going to smash it. Okay? They are going to do this. Gia, who also went to the party, said that despite the fact that she had never been attracted to women in the past, she was enamored by her. 
She also claimed that as their friendship grew stronger, the actress started inviting her to parties where she, Heard, and Musk engage in a scandalous behavior. She further said, but oh boy, she's actually a total psycho and not a doubt in my mind will kill somebody at some point if she hasn't already. However, all these unspeakable activities from Amber Heard might have made James Franco the way he is. He might be seeking shelter from other girls that should have been provided by Amber to James. And not to forget, James also accuses Amber of making him like this because of her unacceptable behavior. However, we never know who to blame when both James and Amber are hidden behind their innocent facade from the public eyes. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.